Yes, people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Just in case you don't know, let me just put this. All right. Get to see me. Get to see me first. All right, people. Get to know. Get to know. If you don't know, it's your boy, the Moses. You see the ear at the end. All the complain. All the complain. All the complain. All the complain. We're back. Afro Tech. All right. Afro Tech Bubbles. We're back on. We don't open for haircut. You understand? Make sure say so you get to know. We are back for our haircut. Afrotech unisex barber shop, hairdressing saloon. We don't come back. Make sure say so you get to know. The boys are ready and um, the customers are coming, but you have to follow protocol. You got to do all the right things, you know what I mean? See, when you come into the shop, you know what I mean? We got to check your temperature. Where the temperature gauge? Show me the temperature gauge, big man. Yeah, big man. That's it. We check your temperature. That's it, the governor. You stay safe there, you see? See that? My stay head got checked, you understand? And when you're done that, and then you do the hand sanitizer, you get your hand sanitizer checked, and then sanitize your hands. Don't start giving excuses, say I got my own gel in my car. No, 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 no. That's fine, you can have your gel. You understand, you can gel, you can gel your hands in your car. That's fine, there's nothing wrong with you having your own personal uh, gel or whatever you wanted to do that. But when you come in here, you, exactly. This is a certified uh, hand gel by the National Health Services. And let me show you something. And it's working as well, okay? See, that's it. And then you sanitize your hands, wash your hands clean, and then you get to the barber seat. Before you get there, get to know. This man is going to clean up. Yo, big man, show me, demonstrate how you clean up the, 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 the cover. You understand? Get the cover cleaned up. Yeah. So you got the green wipes there. That's right. So you got the green wipes there, yeah? Okay, show me what you do, show me what you do. Okay, so you clean the neck. So you, everything for you to feel safe, okay? The chair where you're gonna be sitting down is wiped down from top to bottom. You see the technique, cleaning technique. And then that's it. Your brush, the brush are clean, okay? You feel safe, me people then. You feel safe. So there's no reason for you to begin to panic. All right, we need to increase the business of we brothers them and we sisters them. Go back to the hairdressing saloon. Stop getting your wife and your and your husband to cut your hair. There's no nothing like that. They've done the job for the last four months. Come back home. You know, so, so come back to the professionals. You know, I want to say, let me come back to myself a bit. Yeah, I want to say a big massive thank you to the Mamina Power, Mrs. C. Say you took care of my hair. Um, during the lockdown, you make sure you lock me down. You cut my hair and they look nice. The bubbles were appreciating it from a distance. You understand? But, you know, by now, today is the 4th of July. It's Freedom Day. It's Independence Day. <laughs> it's yeah. Corona Independence Day. So we're back. And that reason, we must return to the professionals. And anybody that went to pub at 6 o'clock this morning, yeah? You're a silly man. Silly woman. Why are you going to the pub at 6 o'clock in the morning? Prince William, what, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, William? We don't want our future king to be going to the pub at 6 o'clock in the morning. He's in a bus. You know what I mean? He should be going to the mosque, go to the church. You know what I mean? All right. But anyway, don't go to the park. I'm telling everybody, don't go to the park. Don't go to Burgess Park. Don't go to Deptford Park. Don't go and congregate in Peckham High Park. It's not worth it. The second wave is going to be awful. And guess who's going to die more? Black people. We will die more. And it's not a racist thing. It's because we're the most stupid people around. Let's get, the, let's get it straight. Okay? We're already vulnerable to so many underlying illnesses. And then we need to behave ourselves. Don't be going to the park and getting each other. You see Leicester? They keep them locked down. You want to do a party? Do a party at home, you and your kids. All right? Stay safe. I'm saying this because I've got 18 years experience in the National Health Service. I know what I'm talking about. No, no, be too, no, no, become too excited and, and hurt ourselves, hurt people that we love, and destroy the community that we belong to. Okay? Listen to the advice of the government. It's not a racial thing. It's simple, standard. Right about now, my baba is going to take your things, and then we're going to be talking to you guys. Don't forget to drop your comments. It's your boy, the Moses for Salon Entertainment. And um, this evening, let me go. I'm going to tell you about something exclusive. We are going to be introducing to you guys the very first female Ceylonian all-round workout specialist. She is amazing. Hawa, 
and she's going to be working alongside um she's going to be working alongside the man himself dj ish okay so get ready for it you know what i mean so mustafa me a short smokes are they are they greedy you <laughs> it's not about you it's about me <laughs> you are just doing the magic people don't go to the park or you don't want to be advised people not to go to the park don't go to the park if you're going to the park go into the park with your own family when I'm going to pack with your family, social distance, do them um, cleverly, yeah. honestly, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. if yeah. I'm not, okay, been... let me take you back. When I say don't go to the park, I don't mean don't go to the park at all. Go to the park with your own family. Don't, to and dance don't go and socialize and party as if you are in a carnival. Wallahi, this uh, virus is still out there yeah. and a lot of people are catching it. And guess what? We are not only catching it, we are passing it on as well. So we need to play our part to be keeping everybody safe. You owe it to the next person sitting next to you. If you go to the park, like we go to the park every Saturday morning. We're running at nine o'clock in the morning, all right? We are doing it with the utmost respect for the disease. We're not loitering, we're not hugging each other. We're focusing on just the and uh, 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 the physical a uh, fitness part of the whole thing. We're not there to dance carnival and start sharing um, bottles of soft drinks, alcohol, passing on food. You know, I don't know. I can't stress this enough. You know what I mean? Like the government is expecting uh, coronavirus, the second wave, to start hitting us at the end of September, going into October, when the flu season starts. Because one thing I don't understand, coronavirus, my, my flu, is just an advanced form of flu, where they affect your lung capacity, your breathing capacity. It's affecting, you know, for if you get any other underlying issues, you are asthmatic, you're diabetic, you go um, kidney, you are a cancer patient. Things then the way they put you into the susceptible stage, you know. Even not you, your family, your loved ones, somebody you know, by you exposing yourself in the wrong area, the wrong platform, okay, you are putting those people at risk. At risk. When the government is relaxing the rules of the lockdown, they're asking us to be sensible. Sensible. Please, all we need for do now for become very, very sensible. We have to make sensible decisions. We have to make decisions that are well informed, that you and I are not going to find ourselves crying for another person. We're not going to find ourselves begging for, praying for mercy, that this person can recover. Please, let's do the right thing by staying safe, making the right decision. Yes, albeit go out and enjoy yourself, but do it in a very sensible and in a very respectable um, manner. Let us do that. Let us look after ourselves. Let us take care of we we love ones them. They are at the big. I can't stress that enough. Now beg me the big now, you know, because for those of us that work in healthcare sector, some of us are privileged to be not frontline workers but second line workers okay that go in and um, to the wards some of us do not um patient intervention but we do patient facing patient facing is you get to see some of the patients even though you're not doing any intervention you're not doing contact so there are no patient contact there in my line of work but you have some of you some of you our brothers and some of you our sisters them where they do patient um direct patient contact and when I see how this disease, you know what I mean, rip the heart of the nation. To date, we've got over 43,000 deaths. Okay? With a big, when the second wave they come, we not even want 1,000 deaths. Please. And if you're a healthcare worker, and then your hospital, or your care home, or your place of work, then they offer um, immunity tests. Do the immunity test. Not start asking, say, what in the immunity test get for do for me? The immunity test is going to tell you how your body 
has coped if you had the coronavirus? Were you able to fight it out? Some of us, we did our immunity test and my immunity test proved that, yes, I had it. Yes, this is my exclusive because my immunity test came out positive. So that means I had it. But thankfully, because of a well-managed um, and a strong health and by God in protection, I wasn't sick enough to be hospitalized. You understand? But in the and second week of April, the end of March, I knew I was symptomatic. I was presenting most of the symptoms. But thankfully, thankfully, it wasn't critical enough. You understand? It wasn't critical enough to be hospitalized. So if you're not a healthcare worker, you don't work, you're not HCA, you're not cleaner, you're not nurse, you're not doctor, consultant, nurse specialist, whatever you are, if you hospital trust, they offer that uh, 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 immunity test, take them. We've got very few days left for those of us that are working in the hospital where I work. I can't name the name because of um, I don't have the permission to, um, to, to, to share the name, but you all know where I work. Our hospital is offering it. So take the test. Don't go down the road of, ah, they were, they just want to take who blood them. Please, why? why? Why does it always have to be us to be the most cynical people in the world? <clears throat> why does it have to be us? We don't have to be cynical. You know, we just have to be law-abiding citizens. Please, if we focus on what they're trying to do, do the immunity test, it will showcase where we have it. So if you do the immunity test and then it says you have it, guess what is the blessing? If the second wave is coming, you are going to be one of those people that are going to be contacted from your workplace to say, hang on a minute. Our history shows that even though you have a strong antibody, but you had it, you might want to consider staying home. Okay? So there is something there for you. Nobody don't try to prove you know which man or you know to which man or whether you get corona or not to corona. It's not a stigma. It's not a stigma. It's like anybody who get cold. You know? Yes, it impacts more on the world today because it's a novel virus. It's a new thing. We're all trying to find out about this. So the only way we're going to do it is by us playing our part to doing what is being asked. All the questions that people then they come up with, why make them they give you a mask now? Let me just touch on that a little bit. The reason why the mask is there now is mainly two reasons. First, we did not have, the world did not have masks. There was a massive global so shortage. So every country, the pain where you see now England, the struggles of mask availability was the same struggles of mask availability across the world. In Sierra Leone, people were washing masks uh, 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 in bowl, in baskets, in buckets. And then they re then they reuse them and then they reshare them. You understand? It? Which is scary to even think about it. You know? Hello? Why do you think the government is allowing us to wear face covering? Hello? Okay, I've yeah, got a face right. covering here with me. You know, yeah, yeah. I have my own uh, 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 fluid resistant mask, which is my FRSM. You understand? I've got that, but I've also got my own face covering. Okay, even though I don't like this kind of face covering because it looks like some kind of panty liner. <laughs> That's why I don't wear it. All right. So I'll rather get a face mask, which I have with me. But if you get face covering, use it. One advice. Anybody where they use personalized face covering, please don't use the same thing if you don't wash it, you know, so within 24 hours. You have to wash it every session. You understand? So when I say sessional use, that means if you've used it for the whole day, okay, wasam, don't use it again. Come on, man. I know say some some man they wear you know man you they wear drugs four days you know, they wear drugs three days some woman go wear drugs I don't know I can't comment so but <laughs> but just just to let you guys know we have to be very careful you know we have to be very careful wash your personalized face covering every day so if you want buy my brother T boy from Sierra Gem Media they make personalized face covering them. So just contact T-Boy on Sierra Gem Media. He will give you a specific type of face covering where if not seven days supply you want, you go get one for every day. So do that. Do that. It's easier that way. Okay? So let me pack that uh, coronavirus face mask thing. Now let me tell you why I'm here. I'm here because I'm here to look good. Because it's Saturday. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, 
Oh my no, no entertainment event. I'm not interested in entertainment. Do I look like a DJ? Because I look like a DJ to you. Okay. They won't go down to suicide and that to you. Ah, wow. Well. Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't see it. I, I, I've been Stop recruited by DJ Ishi's camp. Now I'm into fitness. <laughs> but listen, um, just to let you guys know, um, the government today is what we call Freedom Day, Independence Day. For them and the winner Americans, we are not waiting at the fourth of July for you guys anyway. And um, I don't have any any affection towards that country today right now with the current president. I love the country, but because of the current president, where they rule the country, I've got no no feelings, no love. My families are there. I got love for them, and I want to wish them those who are celebrating fourth of July happy celebration for the fourth of July. But the fourth of July today. For us in the UK and um, Wales and Ireland, we want to say many of the lockdown rules are relaxed. But I want to ask Boris Johnson one thing, yeah? I'm playing devil's advocate here. Boris Johnson, let me ask you this, right? Listen to me, Boris. You decide to relax the rules and tell people to go to the pub, yeah? When are people going to the religious places of worship? Tomorrow. They start okay the mosque as well is opening okay on monday people you can go to the mosque as well and pray in smaller numbers if you're going to the church in smaller numbers please when i wake up for go church tomorrow when i not go pack the church the church will not be able to accommodate every single one of you guys yeah we all know that everybody wants to go into the church and give thanks and praise everybody wants to go to the church to um to say, hey, Papa God, tell God, thank you for what I survived coronavirus. Hey, Papa God, you pray for the one that way you don't lose. Papa God, give them good word. The one that way sick way recover. Papa God, we tell you thank you. No. We know say so we all want to do that in the inside church. No. But what we need mm -hmm. for do is be sensible. Make contact with your pastoral officers. Make contact <laughs> with, with you. Um, uh, Make contact with you, so you with your reverend. You Make contact with somebody in the church. And if it's too much, don't come, <laughs> don't come to the church. Don't come to the church. Carry on praying. You know, the church <laughs> door are opening, not so that we go in there and pack the church and risk the spread of the infections. Because many of you will still be shedding. Because many of you may still have yeah. the virus, and but yet you're still well. But because you're well, you're still shedding. And those who are shedding, we actively get the virus. We are the dangerous people because we are the people that no, are passing man. it on to others. Long term, huh? You know, yeah. so we have to be very yeah. sensible in our decision. So the churches, um, for example, uh, Mr. Weber of um, Sunday Goodward, when one of the respected um, community pastoral officers, them, uh, when I, I talked to them about this a few days ago, and they tell me, say, you understand, they are looking at possibly running multiple services on the day, which has never been done on their ch in their church before. We know that some of the local Nigerian churches, local Serenian churches, they used to multiply the services to increase on their financial pockets. But for normal, traditional British churches, they were never running two services. Now they're thinking of, how can we get more people through the doors? How can we facilitate quality of services in the church? Let's do two services. But the strategy, the logistics is so challenging that when that set, the first set of people that don't finish church, they have to decontaminate the entire church. They have to clean the church. Then they have to go open the church again. So it's testing. It's testing. Sanitize your hands, sir. Thank you, sir. You understand? So we have to... Um, they have to decontaminate the church. They have to clean from the front of the church to the back of the church. So, i.e. the toilets, every facilities that is used. So, it's going to be challenging. Let we not just gladly, gladly say, we they can return at the church. And that's going to be reflective of the same thing for the mosque. You know, uh, for the mosque, uh, most of the mosques, them, as we all know, there are five daily prayers. And the mosque, then they open them the most five times a day. You understand? Oh, Daddy. Nice, nice, nice. And then we go for one them prayer, then they, after them prayer, then they, they go for decontaminate the mosque for every time the mosque don't complete a session of salah. 
So if na Fajri prayer in the morning, to Zu prayer, to Asri, to Maghrib, to Ishai prayer, to then when they go for the prayer, let the Hajjud prayer, where they stand at the mosque, the mosque has to be cleaned over and over. So what we're looking for, get people that want to volunteer their services to support the facilities in the mosque and in the churches, the places of worship, so that it makes it easy. By us giving back our services to the, to the place of worship, we are contributing to reducing the risk of the spread of the trans, this, this deadly infection. So please, before you rush can a church, think, say, before I left the church, am I going to clean the place where I was sitting? Clean them. And then you know where they're going to church. You understand? Eh? Not start making the kego boku boku gadget. You don't need it. You're going with your heart. Pure heart. Just take your heart go. You understand? Just take your heart go. Your heart go. You purify yourself. You there. That's where you get the best sanitizing uh, 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 for your life. God in jail. Nine of the best angels. You know? Go listen to the services. But be sensible. Be sensible. Wallahi, God in angel, I'm not the best angel. You use that day, you clean your heart. You've looked forward to going to the church for four months. Now the opportunity is for let you go inside the church for four months and purify yourself. Now the opportunity is for let you go inside mosque for four months and purify yourself. But do it sensibly. Be conscious in that decision. If you go to your local mosque and it's packed, return home. Return home. Don't start squeezing na the safa. Not begin the quiz na the line. If you go to the church and you see say the seats they not occupy, not begin the tell say, but you have God and I for move no na na sit on. Oh sister, last sit on. No, don't do that. Go home. Pray at home. The prayer which you did at home here yeah, is probably na the prayer that the way God don't answer more than any other prayer where you don't do na your life ever. So why don't you do that? So please, let me do the right thing. Let me do the right thing. Yes. Yeah. Let me do the right thing. Let me do. Yeah. Let me do the right thing. You know, because my brothers, my sisters, if we play with part right, we are going to make a difference now with community. Let me talk to me, Baba now. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. We got Mr. Mustafa here. We are here at Afro Tech Bubbles. Afro Tech Bubbles, the business door open. And um, let me ask you a quick question because I know I don't, I don't ask you questions. Yeah. You understand, eh? Listen, before I talk to the boss, let me talk to you first. Can I do? What do you miss most inside these last three and a half months? I miss my customers, especially you. You don't miss me, you, my African. <laughs> <laughs> Customers, you'll meet the phone, yeah, the life normal, yeah, and a new normal, you know? yeah. So, so, that's a good one. When you say new normal, waiting at the new normal, what, 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 what's in there for change inside Afrotech? Because Afrotech is it's not just your barber shop, it's a, it's a center point for many Sierra Leoneans in the UK, especially London Sierra Leoneans. Um, we go Kanaya, um, with a bounce knowledge, with a share, we share affection, we get passionate in um, anything we believe in, yeah. How how do they get for change? Well, you, you get for change drastically because now we only allow customers in. Okay. During working hours. Okay. After working hours, maybe we allow two, three friends then. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. you know? Yes, 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 definitely. So yeah. It changes day because it's just for our safety, you know, because Corona is real and it's still around, you know. Yeah. So we just get for idea to the conditions for the moment, you know. Yeah. We don't say no get for comfortable. We make the world come new normal. Yeah. You can see something is normal, but it's not normal, you know. Yeah. So that's the. Thing. Well, I want to give me one second, Mustafa, because I need for your ear from the governor himself. And that yeah. same question, there. I'll come back yeah. to you. You understand? Yeah. Let Let's go and talk to the the governor himself, self now. Um. Yes, sir, Mr. Ahmed. Uh, Adeuchi, sir, Mr. Ahmed Floxy. I'm the CEO of Afrotech, Baba. So we we'll talk about um new normal. What in new normal mean for Afrotech customers them and Afrotech um babas them themselves? So what in that nigga for mean for the people that get for come through this door? How 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 things get for change for you and your customer themselves? First of all, we give thanks to God for the protection yeah. on all the customer them and the family. Them. Okay. Um, this is a very challenging time for business like ours because we're not in the court here. Yeah. We're a community barbershop only for like 20 years on the road. Yeah. 
And um, like I said, people in the castle not only to cut their hair, the people in the castle can keep time, yeah. meet friends and others. Yeah. Yeah. So this thing we have a change. We structure at the moment mm -hmm. because we therefore keep to the guidelines, the government yeah. guidelines yeah. for the virus. So now we therefore um, get a certain amount of people who they take at the shop. Okay. Before we capacity at the shop, we can get up to 15 people. Okay. But at the moment, we can only take five waiting. Okay. So then they don't break us up. Okay. In fact, they go for make we get for uh, talk to some of our friends and what the guys will be supporting here. Okay. We can keep company for stay away. Unless they necessarily need to come okay. and cut their hair, or maybe they need to come and see somebody. Okay. So, with the minimum amount of people who they take in, yeah, so it, it changes structure, it changes the community, um, um, what do you call it, uh, congregation. Okay. Like, you know, also, where most of can come out very good because the man in come out so you can get knowledge of the. Of country, country to the go, yes, yes, they can get knowledge of a community because a man they That's can deliberately for yes. come, no say, for yeah, then they can become then they can empower their knowledge, yes. then they can take information, yes, at, um, as you say, it's not just a barber shop, yeah. it's a place for community, it's a resource so point. This, this affects this mm. affects really yeah. that. So, what do they talk? What do they say to customer then or friend them? Yeah, let them patient with us, yeah, and now we all keep to the guidelines is yeah, of the of the government. Happy. Yeah. Um, maintain these, so you the just see an observation here yeah. where a new customer come Mr. in in temperature Mr. check, Mr. B, and then after the temperature check, and then you just do your hand sanitizing. Yeah. So until we all get rid of this thing. Yeah. So all of the acts for let the exercise patient. Yeah. You will sometimes come to an uh, air tech and yeah. they will never allow you for coming. Now you're not the last person after you nobody will carry again, we don't reach your capacity. I will be saying I'm mean, not the last person. Yeah. Say hello to the camera. Hello. Of Agun Pape. First, first the temperature check. So after the temperature check, Mr. Agun Pape, all around APC, um, PRO. So, um, Mr. Ahmed, thank you very much, sir. Good commentary. I will return back to me, Baba Chia, and Unaro Yeri from the CEO himself. And, um, yeah, Unaro Yeri from the CEO himself. I don't tell you, say this is not a community platform, um, not just a barber shop. Now a resource point for all Sierra Leoneans, them and friends of Sierra Leone to come here and congregate and learn and seek knowledge and share knowledge and take that knowledge there and pass them on. And many people come here and then not just for um, just the haircut. They come here, they want to sit down. That can't happen anymore. You understand? Because as soon as you from the, the, the governor himself, five people maximum capacity. The rest of it, you book your appointment to your barber's Mustafa or Ahmed Floxy in self By appointment, you come in, you get, get your haircut, and then you move on to your next chapter. When are your next job? If you go from Komona, then you're going to Ibis restaurant, Mingo's restaurant, or you go to, um, what, you, what you call Francis Yon? Um, what's Kula Francis Kuzi. one? Kula and Kuzi's restaurant, you know, or any of the other Thailandian restaurants where you go for repatriate. So then you go there. That's what you do as Thailandians. But just, I want to really, really empower ourselves and go out there and support with brothers there and with sisters them where they open up their doors to them businesses them and please because we need to do that we need to return mr Agun papesa you know so we really we need to return that extra cash back into their pocket you understand don't sit on it anymore don't say you know i want to say well a massive thank you to my wife Avril William, she said, we we'll make a very good decision. I said to her, look, are you going to cut my hair? She said to me, no, go back to the Baba shop. I said, why? He said, no, go to the Baba shop and go and spend your money. And that's what it is. For inside this lockdown, she took it upon herself. We bought the shares. She was cutting my hair. She did it on a couple of occasions. You understand? But now, now in self self encourage me say go back now the baba shop go help your brother them give back what can you say to that where you sister when i sister now he say come back now baba shop can give back your money to you to your brother them what you go say to that a big thanks to them yeah because it's like you know the the, 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 the struggles the struggles say. yeah people have been going through a lot of difficulty businesses yeah. you know yeah so we have to keep the businesses open you know yeah Otherwise, without customers, no business. No yet. business, so, indeed, indeed. And when business close, so everything is closed. So it's like uh, 
good thing with it on the tell and thank you, you know. Well done. The Mamina Power, you know, you the, the thank you from Afrotech Babbles um so we, we need more of them. We need of more of them. We go and encourage other people yeah. come out, you know. So you will be the baby man, tell you man say hey, baby again. You will be the plant human here, no plant human here again. Yourself, you will be the baby yourself. Them. You understand eh? Maybe they strain you in, yeah, they do, they do so, and all that all and so don't do it anymore. Don't do it, you know, come, you know, come the back to the professionals. There's exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the reason why they say they're the professionals, because they get certain skills and they the where you can't do. Yeah. You understand? And these are the best that Celiano has to offer right now at the UK and I community. You know that. We have to come to Afrotech Bubbles at all time. Book your appointment. Go and find their contact numbers or contact me dj little i will pass on their contact numbers to you the number for me now 07903 for be support each other you know because yes. uh salon business now we all now, business now all business you know, indeed it's like uh, you'll be the, like okay stay away come closer now you know indeed indeed this is now your opportunity for come closer. Yeah. Now we get closer to each other. Because during the COVID, you know, we do a fantastic job. Like even people already own and not they even think of the know. Now go find them at the houses. Then thank you. Give them help, support. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is the thing we don't don't tell we say we we'll go for be together. You know? Thank you. See the family, the family of um Sierra Leone COVID nineteen rapid response team. There are people that recognize oh, our so great work. Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Pick up the response team. Thank you, yeah, thank, you. Right, right. thank you, thank you. Guys job. Thank you, thank you. See a big message coming out there from the CEO himself, Mr. Ahmed Floxy, bigging up the Sierra Leone community, COVID nineteen rapid re response team for the incredible great job we'll do. As so we we'll 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 set the, the, the bar for yeah. so for come together. You yeah, know? we, we try each other. You know, at least we don't try. You let to no more now for. We try. Each other, you know? And but you know what I want to say in return to that. We did not do it on our own. We did it with the Selenia community. I want for Tyson that the first organization this way we don't belong to that is 110% funded by Selenians. You Selenian people, saying, no? you understand? Eh? As you say, it shows that we can come together. It was you yeah, Selenian we come people. Together, we can do more. We, we can, can achieve better, so yeah. much more because we were there as the soldiers that went to war. But you guys bought the ammunition. You provided us with the resources to go out there. The finance, the cooking, the 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 the, the, the everything that you guys did for us. You understand? Eh? We just turned the messenger. Then we go drop the baskets. We provide the food. We we collect the prescription. We do the phone calls to these people. Yeah, and we will do it again. We will do it over and over again because you, Selenian people, you want us to do it, and we are grateful to you guys. Every single donor that they that dug deep, we give we that money, we cook that food, we make that sacrifice, we refer somebody, we journey. Because you need somebody for tell you, say, me person really, really they struggle. So you yourself we refer person, you yourself contribute to the success. So this is not the 36 man team that you saw, okay? This is a lot more than just 36 to 40 people because we have people where their faces were never seen. But they were instrumental to the success of COVID-19 rapid response team. So we want for Teluna Boku Boku thank you. You know, we will still carry on and we're still carrying on. So thank you for making it special for us. You know, please, please. I've been tuned that you know. Somebody pull up that tune. See that? What's a DJ? It's always a DJ. <laughs> Mr. Retired DJ. No man. Music, man. <laughs> Mr. Retired DJ, man. You know, Mr. V. There are so many DJs Don't going on right now. I want to big up to Don't everybody. I'm good. I said it too. I'm oh, okay, man. I didn't miss it posted in two days ago. It happened. You didn't get, get posted in two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. so, okay I just want to tell you something. Okay. The reason why make I didn't remove the mask is because my Baba, he's got the mask on. Okay. All right, but now they can't can't on my face. Where now my jaw, they can't take, they can't shave me up, and it's actually legal for him to do that. So I, I for me for do that. So I get right for take my mask off safely. Give me tissue and put it on that. I have to place it in a clean space where it's not gonna catch any dust, any hair particles, 
um, that's going to contaminate itself. So they put on safely, and then I can return to wearing that mask again. So if you're the kind of barber shop, say, well, I'll demand for shave me. That's how you do it. Okay, that's how you do it. This evening we get we count down community exercise where they go on with we coach DJ ish and then um and we're gonna be going out live on Zoom and it will be streamed live on Facebook as well. So if you don't host you want to do the workouts which we like how we can usually do them, please feel free for join me. And this tonight for the first time exclusive we're showcasing a Salonian lady who is a fitness guru. She goes by the name of Hawa. She's a professional um, fitness and, and well-being coach. She's a caterer by profession. She can cook. And also, she does um, cakes and pastries. So, I don't know why they spend all their time and they do all their things and they yet still maintain a very fit body. Listen, I don't need to say much. Just log on to Diaspora Voices tonight at 7 p.m. live on Facebook. We are going to hit the world with an exclusive. She's going to lead the session for the best part of 25 minutes. And then DJ Ish is going to round it up for another 10 minutes. We want to introduce to the Salonian global community, Hawa. Okay? We're just going to know her as Hawa. That's what you need to know about her. She's a professional um, caterer. And she bakes your cakes. And for all your celebrations and all your events as well. And she is a fitness and well-being coach. So don't miss it. Join us this evening at 7 p.m. live on Facebook, Diaspora Voices SL. We are going to be there. Please, please, please make sure you're part of it. Listen, people, I want to say, Mustafa, this is, Mami Sisa, I don't want to so, but this is the difference between the professional and the profession. <laughs> I, if I do that, then you will not me again. <laughs> All right. The Mamina Power, you did very well. I'm not going to take anything away from you. The only thing you didn't do was shape me up. You know what I mean? The only shape up will be to do now where the lights out. Boom, boom, poof, bish, bish. <laughs> Mr. Man. <laughs> uh, people let me know. They can't now. Listen, go out there. Support, support, support. I want to tell you guys a little secret. If you don't know, the 11th of July, they make Bonnie Mac five years. Bonnie Mac, the legendary Bonnie Mac. Five years. Five years, yes. Five years. Times fly. The 11th of July, exactly the 11th of July, which is next week, Saturday, they make the late, great, legendary, living icon, Bonnie Mac, five years. I'm not saying anymore. Watch this space. What's to come next week, Saturday? Watch this space. You understand? You talk about Salinians coming together. Watch this space. We are coming together in numbers. If you're a Salinian artist, you're Salinian DJs, you know what you've done already. Kudos to you. So make sure you're there. You can watch Diaspora Voices for five days a week. We are on from Sundays to Thursdays. On Sunday, we've got the, the Muslim program, which we call the Dahawa program led by um, Ahmed Bangura, a.k.a. Mufti Menk, and um, is also supported by uh, 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 Mr. Dean. We now, continue they come continue and then continue. after that, thank you very much, sir. And then on Sunday, we have Sunday Good Word with Mr. Weber. We, yeah, yeah. you understand? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mr. Weber, we, they do the Sunday Good Word, and it's going to be there. I Mr. Weber, they do the Sunday Good Word. You understand? Once, you get. once the baba get masked, then that's fine. You, you understand? Like you, you um, yeah. Also, on Monday, you got All Out Politics by Alusan McFoy, um, Al Haji Tonkla, um, Ahmed Sise, Abdul Payam Badin, and Hassan Spo. We're still waiting for Arun Papi for come. You understand? On Tuesdays, we have um, Team Kitchen produced by. Female sincerely on Mrs. Nima Tue, um, Team Kitchen, and this is hosted by Oliver Toka and Marie Koma. Oliver Toka and Marie Koma, Team Kitchen, and then on Wednesday you have Salon Talk, which is um, the program which is hosted by DJ Ish, my younger brother, and myself, the Moses. 
and um, we're hosting it. And then on Thursday, we've got Aisata Sise, the health show, which is talking all about your health and well-being. I want to say thank you, thank you to um, Afrotech Bubbles. Thank you to um, the CEO, Mr. Ahmed, for actually allowing me. If I can give you one final word, please, before we wrap up for the day. And why, just make it simple, why is it important for the community to return back to the bubble shop? Uh, DJ Little, yeah. you know a remarkable man. Yeah. You don't make a community, don't recognize from outside the community. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank May you, God sir. bless you, old team. Thank you, sir. May God continue to provide for you and your family. Thank you, sir. The old team, let God continue to protect you. Thank you. Throughout this virus, yeah. Thank you. All I say, welcome our customer. Thank you for keeping us yeah. up to this state. Yeah. Alive. We yeah. survived COVID. Yeah. It's through your support. Yeah. Continue with your support. God bless you and protect your family. Love you, love Sia, you love everybody. Thank you very much, sir. All right, Mustafa, I just have the last word there. Well done, sir. What are you going to have to say to people uh, that follow Welcome, come everybody. We yeah. open back. We are back to business yeah. and back to new normal. Yeah. And this, one, this time is different. You thank know? you. Thank you very much. Thank you, people. Thank you. All right, don't forget when you come here, your temperature will be checked. Please, no relock, no refuse. Comply. It's the government guidelines. It's not Mr. Ahmed's guidelines. It's the government guidelines. After you then check your temperature, you make sure you sanitize your hands. After you sanitize your hands, you stay, you behave yourself. After your haircut, you live peacefully. And then you can still keep company with Ahmed Floxy on the phone. You can still keep company with Mustafa on the phone. So um, please, 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 let's just show you where we are. We are here at Afrotech, Afrotech Saloon, um, one number 17 Roskin Street. And it's Afrotech Unisex Salon. 0207-701-1991. Make sure say they open seven days a week. Make sure you support. That's Afrotech Saloon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, people. And um, I've been DJ Little, the Moses for Salon. Make sure say you carry on supporting. Support all your small business. Support all the restaurants and keep it real. Peace.